Picture this, a dimly lit room, the flickering glow of a vintage projector casting a warm hue across the faces of eager viewers. The year is 1935, and the silver screen is about to unveil a masterpiece a night at the opera. The air is charged with anticipation, and as the curtains part, the audience is transported into a world of wit, charm, and comedic brilliance. Your first encounter with this cinematic gem might be a distant memory, but the echoes of laughter and the timeless allure of the Marx Brothers resonate even now. Perhaps it was the slapstick antics, the rapid-fire banter, or the sheer absurdity of the plot that etched an indelible mark on your cinematic soul. A night at the opera is not merely a movie, it's an experience that transcends the boundaries of time, leaving you with a treasure trove of laughter and nostalgia. Do you remember the moment that caught you off guard, when Groucho Marx unleashed a barrage of clever one-liners, or when Chico and Harpo engaged in their delightful musical mischief? Those moments are like fragments of comedy gold, forever etched in the corridors of your memory. Now, let's dive deeper into the fascinating world of a night at the opera. Beyond the laughter and chaos lies a tapestry of intriguing facts that add layers to the cinematic masterpiece. These random nuggets, like hidden gems, bring new dimensions to your understanding of the film, enriching the experience you thought you knew so well. So, buckle up as we unravel the mysteries and unveil the trivia that has long lingered in the shadows. A Night at the Opera, a timeless classic, conceals more than meets the eye. Get ready to be surprised, amused, and enlightened as we embark on this journey into the heart of cinematic brilliance. And now, without further ado, let the curtains rise on the random facts that make a night at the opera an enduring masterpiece. It's time to rediscover the magic, the madness, and the moments that define this classic all brought to you by the enchanting world of random trivia. A Night at the Opera, released in 1935 is a classic comedy film directed by Sam Wood and starring the iconic Marx Brothers Groucho, Chico, and Harpo. The film, conceived as a satire on the pompous world of opera, unfolds as a comedic escapade when the Marx Brothers intervene in the romantic entanglements of a young couple, played by Alan Jones and Kitty Carlisle. The narrative is woven around the attempts of the brothers to launch the young singer's career while navigating through the chaos they inadvertently create. The film's humor is marked by witty dialogue, slapstick comedy, and the brothers' signature irreverent antics. Noteworthy is the iconic stateroom scene, a masterclass in comedic timing and physical comedy. A Night at the Opera reflects the Marx Brothers' distinctive style, blending verbal wit with visual gags, and showcases their ability to lampoon societal norms with sharp satire. This cinematic gem not only endures as a testament to the comedic genius of the Marx Brothers, but has left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent generations of comedians and filmmakers. Its legacy extends beyond the silver screen, making A Night at the Opera an enduring classic in the annals of American cinema. The first sneak preview for the 1935 movie A Night at the Opera was a disaster. It took place in Long Beach, California, and is considered one of Hollywood's greatest bombs. The Marx Brothers and producer Irving Thalberg were eager to gauge the audience's reaction to a film that had more continuity and a longer side story romance than their previous works with Paramount. Unfortunately, the Long Beach audience despised the film and barely laughed. Groucho Marx was reportedly despondent, and Chico Marx suggested the crowd's mood might have been affected by the recent death of the town's mayor. The reasons for this chilly reception remain unclear. However, Thalberg convinced the brothers to continue the preview tour. The next night's screening in San Diego fared much better, with riotous laughter, easing everyone's concerns. The transition of the Marx brothers from Paramount to MGM was largely facilitated by Chico Marx's close friendship with Irving Thalberg and their shared passion for gambling. Chico negotiated the move to MGM with Thalberg during a bridge game. Their first project at MGM was a night at the opera. A rejected plot for the film, which circulated as a Broadway legend for decades, featured Groucho Marx as a producer planning to stage the worst opera to make it fail quickly. This would allow him to escape to South America with hefty profits. However, the plan backfires when the opera becomes a massive hit, leaving Groucho owing much more than he anticipated. 
Groucho loved the idea, but producer Irving Falberg rejected it, wanting a simple plot as a comedic springboard for the Marx Brothers. The basis of this plot idea lingered for years, eventually inspiring Mel Brooks the producers in 1967. This intriguing backstory sheds light on the challenges and creative decisions that shaped a night at the opera, a classic comedy that almost had a very different storyline. In the 1935 movie A Night at the Opera, Groucho Marx briefly impersonates Jack Benny by gesturing to the orchestra pit and saying, play, Don. This line was a nod to Benny's radio show, where his orchestra leader, Don Bastor, was cued in the same way. Notably, Don Bastor also originated the famous J-E-L-L-O jingle for Benny's show. Unfortunately, I couldn't find substantial information about the film's original opening scene in Italy, where everyday Italians perform bits from Pagliacci by Ruggiero Lincavallo. This scene was initially part of the film according to MGM's dialogue cutting continuity. Kitty Carlisle, a cast member, recalled that the atmosphere on the set of the film was deadly earnest. Groucho Marx sought her opinion on his lines, and if she didn't find them funny, he would be disheartened and test them on others in the cast. In contrast, Chico Marx was often found playing cards in a back room, and Harpo Marx worked diligently in the morning but would eagerly call out for lunch by 11 a.m. These insights provide a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes dynamics and humor of a night at the opera, a classic comedy that has entertained audiences for generations. Groucho Marx, a key figure in the 1935 movie A Night at the Opera, expressed strong disapproval of the early script draft. According to reports, he exclaimed, Why mess around with second-rate talent, get Kaufman, and Riskine to write the screenplay? This statement reflects his desire for a more polished script, underscoring the importance of the writing team in the film's development. In this movie, director Sam Wood, who was directing the Marx Brothers for the first time, displayed a commitment to perfection. During the scene in which Tommaso hangs from a rope, multiple takes were filmed. The repeated attempts led to Harpo Marx's hands becoming cut and swollen from the rope, illustrating the dedication and attention to detail put into the film. For actress Kitty Carlisle, co-starring with the Marx Brothers in A Night at the Opera proved to be a career highlight. She noted that, out of her decades of movie roles, this film garnered her the most recognition. It highlights the enduring impact of the movie and the Marx Brothers' unique comedic talent. In summary, A Night at the Opera witnessed Groucho Marx's insistence on a top-notch script, director Sam Wood's quest for cinematic perfection, and Kitty Carlisle's acknowledgement of the film's role in her career. These elements contributed to the movie's enduring popularity and success. As we draw the curtains on our cinematic journey through the unforgettable masterpiece, A Night at the Opera, I invite you to pause and reflect on the enduring magic that this film has woven into the tapestry of your own cinematic experiences. This timeless classic, a symphony of humor and heart, has a unique way of embedding itself in the recesses of one's memory. Perhaps you were first introduced to the uproarious antics of Groucho, Chico, and Harpo Marx during a cozy family movie night, sharing in the infectious laughter that this film never fails to inspire. Or maybe it was a chance discovery on a lazy Sunday afternoon, when you stumbled upon this cinematic gem and found yourself transported to a world of pure comedic genius. Let your mind wander to the moments that left you in stitches, the one-liners that lingered in your thoughts long after the credits rolled, and the delightful chaos of the stateroom scene that defies explanation. A Night at the Opera isn't just a movie, it's an experience etched in the hearts of those who've had the pleasure of witnessing its charm. Now, I encourage you to share your fondest memories, your most cherished scenes, or the profound impact this film has had on your life. Your personal connection to A Night at the Opera is a testament to the enduring power of cinema and the joy it brings to our lives. Thank you for joining me on this cinematic journey and for sharing your thoughts and memories. Your passion for this film and the art of storytelling is what makes the world of cinema truly remarkable. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, stay inspired and entertained. Remember, every story is an open book waiting to be explored.